Alright, so I wanted to make a video of theories that I have about what's going to happen on Destiny 2 soon. So I am recording this video before I actually put out the well, video, I guess recording a clip. Um, it's just the, the one that just came out today, the one for the uh, Trials of the Nine. You know, you go talk to them and everything. Um, I put out my theories out the next day. This is more of a little, just recording a clip, gonna upload it. And then tomorrow I'll, put my, I'll actually record a video. Um, if you have any theories of your own, let me know. And I will talk to y'all tomorrow. So, you know, obviously you can see, you know, it easy or Earth and the Traveler right there. <clears throat> Still think it's a little bit weird that it's showing that they're parked so close to it easy. Oh, and just so y'all know, there is a lure tab somewhere right here. Alright, let's go. We stand at the precipice of history. What you do here changes the cosmic balance forever. You have made allies of dangerous beings, gods and god pretenders. How long before your company involves you in something you can't come back from? Those I serve have so much to learn from you. You are their greatest curiosity. The agent on whom all fates converge. The Dredgen presents a special prize to the Nine. He is an anomaly, an elemental balance, a grand experiment. We remember his trial. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna watch this. Alright, I'm gonna keep quiet so y'all can watch it. You know, after done Destiny's 2 infamous uh, black loading screen with the Hunter, Borlock, Titan, Sigil. Because those are always cool. It's about time someone taught you respect, little man. Ha! Someone like you? I know you all keep tabs on me. Yeah. You've been straying. You don't even use his name no more. Well, that's why I'm still breathing, brother. Gambit is a chance at salvation. Take it. so afraid Shin would get you. Sorry, old friend. Behind you. Drifter now. You have proven yourself worthy. Accept this gift from the knife. A gift? What gift?
Yeah, so that was the clip that just got released today. I mean, obviously we saw like little clips whenever they were announcing uh, the Drifter, you know, showing all the weapons and everything. They show little clips, but they never showed us that much. Uh, oh, I'll keep quiet again. Let's see if they say anything. Only two others have transcended their design. The first, an hourglass, counting down with infinite patience. The second, a forgotten blade sharpened anew. And now, the dredgen. Visit us again. We wish for you to understand what we understand. For now, it is my purpose to speak to you and you alone. But only if you remain worthy. So, okay, we're gonna talk a little bit about this. So, first off, obviously, you know, this is the Emissary of the Nine, you know, the Trials of the Nine. That was out for maybe, I want to say about three seasons. I think they took it off after Anna Bray. Um, one of my biggest theories is, is you know, obviously Oryx. You know, Oryx is going to be coming back. As you can tell from what she said, a blade sharpened anew. Obviously, and you know who was using a blade, you know, Oryx. And one of my other theories is that thing that they gave, that, that gift, they called it, that they gave to Dredgen. I don't, or the Drifter, you know, I, I started calling him Dredgen after I figured out he was Dredgen Yor. Um, uh, one of the things I feel like he's pulling is if you read the anthology book, you realize, you do know that, um, <clears throat> Oryx, instead of having a throne room in his mind, he actually pulled the throne room out of his mind and made it into what we know as the Dreadnought. So the Dreadnought is his throne room, which is out in the open world where we can see it. Hence the reason why he has all that power, why he can teleport, move as fast as he can, you know, the Court of Oryx, all that stuff, why that stuff even exists out in our world. Um... When we killed Oryx, or I guess you killed Oryx, I came to Destiny a little bit late. Um, he, uh, we, we didn't kill him completely. We killed one of his worms. He was possessed by two worms. One worm was a worm that wanted to see the, uh, see the universe, see the world, which was, was, was helping him. And the other world, or the other worm was one worm that was made for conquering, for killing, for destruction. One of my theories is that we killed one of those worms. We killed the traveling worm, the exploring worm, you know, the the one that didn't really cause all that damage explosion. The one that I believe is still alive is the one that is, well, the one that wants to kill, the one that wants to destroy, wants to do all that damage or everything. Um, so what I think Dredgen is pulling along is either going to be a casing for that worm or part of Oryx's throne room. And the only reason I believe they say the Drifter is... Or Dredgen... The only reason I think that he they think he's worthy is just because of the fact that he controls Gambit. You know, Gambit where we go around killing each other, killing enemies. The fact that he can control the Taken is another thing that they believe he is worthy. There's a... And then there's the thing about Savathun, right? Where they show the little... Her ships towards the end of Destiny 2. Um, you know, the little clip. I think I can see the clip on here. I think it lets us watch the... Yeah, yeah, the game credits here. Let me, let me, let me play it through. I don't think I can skip through any of this. No, it doesn't let me skip through it. Well, anyways, if you've played Destiny 2, you know what I'm talking about. Three the... The Vex-looking ships that are actually taken. Um, again, in the book, it says that Sabathun leaves our our space, our universe, because it says that she is scared of Oryx's power, scared that he's getting way too strong, that he's gonna end up killing them completely, taking they're taking their worm, killing their worm, either way, either way you want to put it. Um, so my other theory is Savathun's gonna come back, Oryx is gonna be alive, or being revived, one of those two. 
and she may end up teaming up with him. She may end up teaming up with her brother again. She may end up killing him, seeing that she's that he's now weaker. Um, and then if you do play The Reckoning, you can hear the Emissary of the Nine say that a new age is coming or something, something along those lines saying that our age is beginning to end, aka the next collapse is coming. Now, I believe Sabathun and Oryx are going to be the cause of that collapse. I believe one of them is going to destroy our world, or even just put it back where we can't, we're not going to have the Traveler anymore. Or where the Traveler just abandons us. I'm on that theory that Traveler is not good. I believe the Traveler is just here using us to make an army to protect itself. Because again, in the anthology, I know I'm going to bring this up a lot. Um, it says that the Traveler's abandoned 17 worlds, if I remember correctly. He's abandoned 17 worlds. She, he, it. I'm, I'm, I'm not really going to get into all that. Um, and the, those races either got extinct or teamed up with the Taken saying, because they wanted to live, obviously. Um, so obviously I teamed up with Gambit. I obviously took Dredge inside, I pledged my loyalty to him. Um, I think that if you are going to pledge your loyalty, you should pledge your loyalty to the Drifter, to Gambit. I mean, that's just my opinion. Um, Vanguard is not seeming like it's something you can trust anymore. It just seems like um, it's something that's just going to turn their back on you if you ever get stranded in the world. I, th I mean, there's been word that uh, Destiny 3 is going to be a lot darker. It's going to be a lot grittier, you know, there's going to be a lot more death. Now, if Bungie actually follows that path, I I honestly hope they really do, because when they killed off Kate 6 yes, I was sad about it. I mean, obviously, everybody was. I mean, he was one of the funniest and coolest characters on here, but when they decided to do that and kill off Kate 6 that was maybe one of the smartest decisions they ever made, in my opinion. One of the reasons being is that that brought back a lot of players. That picked up their player base a lot. And two, that made me feel like we were actually a part of Destiny's Legend. You know, the whole past, the story and everything. We actually got to see one of the Vanguard get killed. We didn't just hear about it like in one of the lure books or the... Or, you know, one of the stories that we always read about. This time, we actually got to live and we'll play with a... You know, a, one of the vanguards. We got to see him, you know, laugh, you know, show, like, give us missions. We saw him struggle. I mean, he lost an arm in the Red War. I mean, that was pretty fucking hilarious. <clears throat> Sorry about the language. Um, and now we got to see him die. And that was one of the saddest moments in Destiny history. You know, we lost Cade 6. But it was also what made us feel like we were Guardians, made us feel like we were actually part of the story. Um, I hope Bungie follows the same path they're following now. I mean, it would be nice to see so much darker, so much grittier. So, so just, I don't want to make, this sounds bad, but I really want them to make it where people are dying and during our time. And I hate Zavala with a passion. I cannot stand Zavala. That does that doesn't mean that I'd kill him myself. You know, obviously. But um I hate how he abandoned Cade Six. Or not abandoned, but he didn't want us to go avenge him. On a on one note I do understand, you know, what he said, we're not an army, you know, yada yada yada, we can't go out looking for vengeance. But on another note he also made it sound like he couldn't give two shits that Cade is dead. Ikora, I'm kind of on the fence for her. Yes, yeah, she's she's pretty cool. And she she can have her pretty badass side. I read the comics of Oryx, or not Oryx, but Osiris. And she was a pretty badass. Um but I think the Vanguard is not gonna be with us whenever there's gonna be a war. I feel like they're gonna ditch us, say that it's not worth coming back to get us. I just I, uh... I think Dredgen is the best option to go with. He... 
Freddy. Okay, I'm gonna get away from him because he talks too much. He knows more than he's letting on, obviously. Um, I feel, feel like he may actually help us if the war does come along. Maybe it's not going to be the right way to help us, but he's obviously going to help us. Um, and then one of my other theories is to with the whole queen situation. Yeah, she knew about Savathun. She knew about the Nine. So obviously I'm going to think she knew about Dredgen. She was going to know all about the whole collapse that's coming and everything. If you remember in D1, she tried taking down Oryx. And, well, that failed. Um, we all thought she was dead, you know, yeah, and all that stuff. Um, whoa, 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 that lag, whoa. Um, so, so I think she wasn't running, or she wasn't, um, I don't think she's an enemy of ours. I think she's more of looking out for herself. She looking out for her and her brother. Because, you know, I'm pretty sure you saw the clip where her brother came back to life as a guardian. She's pretty sure she went to go get him, and then she told them all about their history, how he's, you know, old Zov, he's the, the prince, and all that. But I think they ran away. I'm pretty sure they ran away, and they're, we're not going to see them to Destiny 3, but I'm pretty sure they were looking out for themselves. They didn't. She didn't want to go against Ulrich. She knew what was going to happen. She feels like she's going to get killed again, or pretty much get taken down. Um... And Aldrin, you know, obviously he doesn't understand what's going on. I mean, he just got revived. Um, there, there, there's a lot of theories I have. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I think may happen. There's a lot of things that may not happen in what I just said. Um, again, I don't trust the Vanguard. Um, I believe Dragon is going to be the one that saves us. But I also think he's going to be the one that takes over after the collapse. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'll get into this more on Sunday. I'm going to be... I have to work, so unfortunately this isn't my job. <laughs> this is just something I do on the side. Um, I'll be getting more into theories that I have about this game. What I think what's going to happen more. Um, I did hear that if you come talk to Drift, he's supposed to say some more things. So we're going to listen to that real quick. <laughs> Hold up. You saw that damn card game? Oh, no, no, not good. They're giving you visions, too. I'll say it straight. I got a bad habit of biting off more than I can chew. But hey, guys gotta eat. And the deal that got me the haul? Yeah, it just looks so damn tasty. But damn, they're reaching out to you. No, ma'am. You keep clear of that little blue psycho. Leave this to me. You see her again, you turn the other way, understand? Trust nothing you hear. Drifter Bristol's defense when your ghost mentions that you experience a vision from the emissary of the nine. He too is experiencing visions, and he wants you to keep your distance. Whether you respect his wishes is of course entirely up to you. Huh. Yeah, that's not at all weird at all. Well, this could define whether or not I'm going to be able to still stay partners with him, because obviously I'm going to keep talking to her. And I'm going to abandon this one. Oh. Yeah, it's just, it's like uh, fucking earn gamut points. And, uh, it just makes people. Call me Shut up. Give me the Reaper one, I guess. Yeah, give me the Reaper one. <laughs> that was made for you. All right. Um, like I said, I'll get back into this more on Sunday. Um, I'll be off that day. I'll record some more. I'll upload some more. I'll try editing the next one. It's just this one. I'm a little bit tired. I just got out of work. I just wanted to get on to see this video clip. Um, I'll be playing some games with Lobo. You know, Lobo, the one I'm always playing with later on tonight. Um, if you want to watch that stream, go right ahead. If not, I totally understand. Just make sure you like and subscribe, and I will catch y'all next time.